So, in the go-kart, I just went up in the hills and found a DB Cooper clue. Welcome to um, the adventure agents. I have to go get daddy. Agent Tech! I found a DB Cooper clue. No way. Yeah. Where? Up there in the hills. I was driving around, uh -huh. way up there, and I found a DB Cooper clue. Quick. Where is it? Yeah. Okay, all right, let me get my shoes on. What is up, Adventure yeah. Agents? Agent Bob, Tech's where the here. Was. Do you know the excavator up there? Uh huh. The old front loader? Yeah. It's by where that was. Really? Put it right there. Get your okay. Daddy? Daddy? Right. Hey. You're going to have to go in the back because you said I can come to That's He's true. He's going to go on the motorcycle. I'm going to go on the motorcycle. Do you want to go, Agent Hummingbird? Mm -hmm. Is it dangerous, Agent X? No. Okay, okay. All right, Agent Hummingbird, why don't you get your shoes on? We need protective gear. It sounds like Agent X found a DB Cooper clue. This is exciting. I am super excited. I was just here with Agent Trinity trying to get some stuff cleaned up. And you went exploring? No, I just went driving around. And Faven, guess what? So, what? I was going full speed. She was right in front of me. Uh -huh. She was going as fast as a go-kart at full speed. Oh, wow. Agent Tracker. That is kind of dangerous. That's risky, Agent Tracker. Don't run in front of the go-kart. No, she wasn't in front of it. She was like on the side. On the side, okay. All right, All right you gotta be careful with their agents here. Okay, well, let me get my shoes on. Let's go check out this DB Cooper Remember clue that Agent X found. Okay, Agent Trinity, huh? I got the walkie-talkie on. I think we found a DB Cooper clue. I'm gonna leave yeah, the walkie-talkie right here oh, in case you need it, okay? Wow. All right, all right, I'll have this one with me. All right, bye Agent Trinity, we'll be right back. Bye. We'll let you know what we find. Way. We're gonna park here. Yep. Walk the rest of the way. Yeah. Well, let's get the uh, vehicles out of the road, though. Steer to the left. Oh. <sighs> That's better. This might or might not be associated with DB Cooper. Okay. So. This is so cool because we were just watching. What is it? We were just watching the video where we went to the deep woods. Oh no. It's our pail. It's our pail. That's... That got crushed. Oh man, this is one of our pails. Must have fallen out of the go-kart last time we were up here. Oh, right. salmonberry hunting. Yeah, we were salmonberry hunting. Leave that right there so we can find it. So, how far is it? Um, just right up ahead, right around that bend. Okay, it's right around the bend. Yeah, we were just watching the video where we came up here to look for DB Cooper clues in the deep wood and found the beaver. Uh, um, the and beaver. What? It's very associated with a certain tractor. It's very a associated with tractor. a certain rusty tractor. Okay. All right. Well, this is exciting, agents. That Let's certainly predated DB find. Cooper. Oh, okay. Predated DB Cooper. Whoa! Active logging going on, first of all. Those are trees. There's some big trees that are recently cut down over here. What and they were cut down on? by a certain rusty predating DB Cooper tractor. Oh, really? What? Or they were moved. What? It's from up there. Wow. It's from up the there. The tractor. The one that's up there is gone. It right moved. There. Do you remember, Agents, the tractor that we saw that I thought had just been sitting there for who knows how long? It's an old tractor. Um, but Clark I guess County it's still from, active. Wait, it's from Clark. Look at these logs. It's, it's from Clark County. Check this out. That's huge. Wait, how old is that? Wow. It's like this years. this is an old spruce tree. That's like a hundred years old, right? And that tractor has been moved. You're right, agents. Wait, is DB Cooper it. up here logging? Wait, Daddy. I'm that's like, so what? 
Cool. What if D.B. Cooper found some keys in the wild? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> maybe he's been living up here and he ran out of money, the, the hijacking money, and he's been logging other people's trees. <laughs> you never know. Wow, that is so cool. So this thing still works. This thing is so old. This is a very old There's tracker. A fire, what, a new fire extinguisher in it? Uh, yeah, well, I, I would imagine to be safe, you would need a decently new fire extinguisher. But, uh, oh yeah, well I should have known, look, this right here, since that is uh, clean, you know, these uh, hydraulic pistons, that's a sign that it's, uh, that it's um, being used actively. And so I should have looked at that. That would have been a clue for me. Oh, Daddy, but other look. than that, look, this is so this old, way. agents. Point down this way, see? It definitely. Oh, you're right, uh-huh, so yeah. <gasps> Maybe we can find where they cut the trees down from. Agent Axe is right. The tracks Might lead down here. Clue, Might not be a DVD clue. clue. It's certainly logging the mystery clue. of the logging. <laughs> it's a logging mystery. Where did they take those giant trees from? Let's so, see if we can figure it out. All, they went that way. But that way? They went this way. Uh-huh. Yeah, see all these trees that are cut down everywhere? Yeah. Like oh man, yeah. Uh, it looks like there's. these are a bunch of branches. Maybe the branches came from the trees that they logged. Uh, so, ooh, if you're looking for a... This was logged a long time ago. Look, that's an old... Look that. Oh, that's huge. That was logged a while ago. We would need to find a tree that they oh, logged. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Check that. Wait, whoa, what is that? Whoa. That is really old. That's super old. What is That's that? some kind of a, a Wait, shake it. exhaust pipe for a piece of equipment. What went on over here, agents? Look at this. This tree was cut down, but not recently. That was cut down years ago. I don't know what was going on or what were they doing over here? Oh, there it is. Look, right there. Right here, agents. This tree right here. This tree was cut down right here. Wow, that is so cool. Look at that. We solve uh, one tree mystery here. They cut that down. How old is this tree? <sighs> Let's check it out. You count. <sighs> the growth seasons there. These rings are the growth seasons of the tree. Agent Tracker. 95 years old. 95? Good night. That's really old. Are you sure 95? Well, every me, single ring. I'm gonna try to count it real quick. You're right, Agent X. 95 years. Hey, look. This tree look. is nearly a hundred years old, which means that it's twice as old as uh, as the DB Cooper mystery. Yeah, this thing. Dad, look at that. Was about, the tree is cut. Uh, whoever it was, they used a chainsaw and cut into here. And let this oh, tree the fall. trees were growing together. They were growing together, yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, this is a, it's interesting. This is a hemlock right here. That's what's neat. That's a hemlock, and this is actually a fir tree. So, a hemlock and a fir were trying to grow in the same spot, and they mm, bumped into each other like this. So, this tree was about 50 years old, 45 to 50 years old, that whenever D.B. Cooper landed in this very area. And, so, uh, agents, what if D.B. Cooper landed and his parachute got caught in the tree and he cut the tree down to remove evidence that's a funny theory <laughs> what daddy what not likely but that that daddy, is a funny theory what what if he landed and he found a shovel uh -huh. and he dug a super 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 deep hole buried the money and buried the parachutes and buried the parachutes. That's most likely what happened. That's what we think is most likely to have happened, which means that it's very unlikely that we will ever, ever find the parachutes because that's a lot of digging to dig up this entire area. We wouldn't want to do that anyways. Wow. Did well, that's really that? neat. Did you see that? What? Come over here. Daddy, this is fresh, right? Yeah, this is fresh. This was done within the past couple days for sure. Yep. Very interesting. I want to see how old the old, the biggest tree that they cut down over there is. You want to go count that? Come over here. Okay. Um, you know that if you give a mouse a cookie show? Yeah. They should make a, if you give D.B. Cooper a parachute show. <laughs> <laughs> if There's you something give, right there. Oh, it's Agent Tracker. If 
You give Jimmy Cooper a bomb. Hey, a did she bomb. find something? Hey, the tracker, what'd you find? Hey, there's another track right here. Yeah, it must have gone down this way. What'd you find, Agent Tracker? Huh? What'd you find? Let's see if we can find something. Oh, this yeah, this is a new trail. Oh, another tree. Right there. Yep. Whoa, check this out. It's hollow on it's the inside. It's hollow and rotten on the inside. Man, this, you know what kind of tree this is? Um, fir. It's a western red cedar. Now this was a western red cedar. See all the branches that are laying around? You can tell that that was cedar. Cedar bark is a bit softer, what? like this. Feel that? You can peel it back like... You know this was fresh? Like that. So, western red cedar bark is really soft. You can uh, peel it back like this. Oh, you see that? And it's really strong. It's really soft and it is really strong. In fact, uh, they use it for the indigenous people of this area, they would use it for all, all sorts of things. They, they would actually use it for water storage. Hey, maybe we should try that out. You wanna make like a water bucket to boil water in using this bark? You wanna try that? I think we should do a D.B. Ah! Cooper survival deal. Maybe D.B. Cooper used this to boil water to have safe potable water while oh. he was up here. Let's give it a shot. That. your hand right here. Just pull this way. All right, so now we can start peeling it here. Okay, so we kind of figured out that basically you have to wedge your hand in here like this. So, soft wedge. All right, so you made it to the Not. point where I notched it. Go with that. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, now, Daddy, are we going to snap this off or do this side part? Oh, what? Are we going to snap that side part? Uh, I don't know. But look at that. That's nice and smooth. And that can hold water. We just have to find a way like to... Like that. To bend it to... I have an idea. Get it. No. Um, Careful. you could use cordage and, like, cut holes in it to make a little deal right little here. Deal to right there? Yeah, I don't know. I have to figure out a way to make it to where this will hold water. So what did you make? Cordage. Axel made a piece of cordage with this western red cedar, and that's actually what the indigenous people of this area would use for cordage in a lot of instances, is the bark of this western red cedar. They'd use it to make cordage for um, all sorts of things, um, for uh, bow strings, for, um, for uh, rope, and to hold like clothing together and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Let me see that, wow, pull it. Here, you pull, pull. that side. No, okay. pull side. See if you can break his cordage. Uh, that pull. is... Pull as hard as you can. Uh, we are pulling as hard as we can and we can't yeah. break his cordage. That is awesome. It's just a tiny piece of bark. I know, isn't that neat? Nature provides amazing tools for survival. Okay, so I've gotten this shave down here to be thinner. It's more pliable now. And so I'm bending this this way. See that? It's kind of a... An H, the top of an H there. Wait, Daddy, sit on uh -huh. the other side to see if it'll break. <laughs> I think it would. <laughs> Push down with your hand. Oh, it just bends, right? Contours to the log. So I bend the middle here, and then I curve this side over like that, and then I curve that side over like that, and then, voila. Isn't that neat? Wait, we could use cordage to tie it. Yeah, you're right. We could use cordage, Axel's cordage, to tie this together. Now I just need to do the same thing to the other end. Okay, I got a good so piece of cordage. We can hold cordage. water here. Oh, yeah, there you go. 
So you get that cordage going and I will try to get the other side of this finished, okay? Okay, so we have got the nice inner bark of the western red cedar here into a three strand deal with a knot and axel is going to weave this into some really good a really long that's about two feet long piece of cordage so we'll show you how to do this oh nice so what you can do is axel see this right here you need something to hold it fast okay so look, mm -hmm. you see this little piece of bark right here? Mm -hmm. You can slide it in that wedge right there, see that? Mm -hmm. Now, that'll hold it fast. Now start to braid. Yeah, so you do this. Doop. Like, look, Daddy. You do one. Ow, ow. Like, see, look. You just pull a piece look. of my hair out. If you braid hair, <laughs> it snaps. There. Mm -hmm. There. All right, you have to make sure that you pull it. If you, if you tie it down here, mm -hmm. It's gonna become messed up down here. So you just keep on putting it in the middle? You put one over the other. This one over, this one over. Yes, keep putting it in the middle, yeah. Put the right one in the middle, left one in the middle. Right one in the middle, mm -hmm. left one in the middle. Right one in the middle, left one in the middle. And each of them gets a turn. And you pull good, decent tension the whole time, mm -hmm. okay? All right, you come over here and try. All right, so I wasn't paying close enough attention to you. This isn't tight enough. Sorry, I wasn't paying close enough attention to him, so we're gonna have to redo it. That was good, you did it great, but that's not tight enough. You have to pull it really hard. Yeah, you wanna pull it harder. So. Hey, a little bit cordage. Oh, you're right, River's got a little cordage. Yeah. You wanna try this, River? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get something for River to do too. So when I say tight, I mean this needs to be mm -hmm. tight. You pull tight this way, and you make your knots tight to your braids. Another piece of cordage. So you don't want yeah, a lot of space. So both need to be tight, okay? All right, so this right here, this is the soft inner bark. I'm gonna get some for River. One. So like this, Daddy? Two. Three. All right, River, look. I got you some cordage to braid now. Mm -hmm. This is actually the first time I've done this with cedar, but it seems to be working really well. <laughs> Okay, Ribby, there's your cordage steel, right there. It's doing pretty good. Yeah, and just keep going till you run out. Nice work, bro. That is a beautiful braid. Really, really nice. This is so neat. Man, one mystery leading to another. The mystery of the D.B. Cooper tractor leading to the mystery of how the indigenous people of this area now, how do you tie it? made cordage. How do you tie it? Okay, so down here, wouldn't necessarily have to tie this. There you go, not right there. You could actually weave in another piece and another piece and you can make this 30 feet long. All right, good work, bro. Look at that. Ready? Cool. That's not gone. Yeah, we're not gonna break that. <laughs> Couldn't break. Okay, we're gonna see how River does with the braiding. Okay, Ribby, let's see here. The right one in the middle, left one in the middle. Right one in the middle. Left one. You don't so have that's to... left and that's right? That's a left and that's a right, yeah. You don't have to worry about which one's left and right. You need to worry about put one this side in the middle, then the other side in the middle. This one in the middle. Now put this one in the middle. And that one in the middle. Keep trying that. You, you keep trying that. Hey, that's great, Ribby. That is so great for your first piece of cordage. How do you tie it? Uh, you know what? I don't even think we need to tie it. I think it'll stay in place like that. I want to tie it. You want to tie it? Okay. So we're having trouble with one aspect of this bowl. Axel had an idea. And I think it's a great idea. So we are having to get another piece here give it a try. We need it to hold together so it can hold water. And the cordage isn't gonna hold the pieces together on its own well enough. So 
So we're gonna need something else, and I think that this will do the trick. I know what you're thinking. You know what I'm thinking? Okay. So, um. Are you thinking gonna, what I'm thinking? Well, well, you're gonna bend it around that and then mm -hmm. draw a hole here and here, and then you're gonna slip the cord through oh, that and that and hold it over the that's top. That's a like great that. idea. I didn't even think of that, actually. I was just thinking to do this, but let's let's give this a try. So, you bend. No, I have another idea. What? We could drill a hole through there while that's right there. Uh huh. So then it'll stay there. Oh, well, we'll see. So we drill a hole here and here. Mm -hmm. And then we drill a hole here and here. And we stick this around. And then we yeah. thread the cordage through the holes. Through the holes. And tie it up here. And then we can hold it right there and right there. Mm -hmm. And then dip it in the pool and pick it up to carry water like that's that. That's an idea, yeah. Okay. So we're going to do this. <laughs> see this fold right here? We're making this fold. Well, listen, it sounds like it's raining, right? It's just uh, it's needles falling. We're making this fold. Now, the problem is holding this together with just cordage, it wouldn't work. Because watch, even if I had a piece of cordage around here, watch what happens. Bloop. That just comes apart. So, we need something to hold the back. And Axel said, oh, I need to put something back here. We got this piece right here. See that? And we're going to fold that around this. And now... As long as we hold this on here, it's reinforced back there. See that? Really and in fact, that. you know what, Axel? Mm -hmm. You may have just solved our problem without even using cordage. If we drill a hole right here. Or just a, a live stick. Yes, there you go, Axel. A live stick. I think we should do the cordage, though. All right, so we're going to try the cordage, but it can't fit through, so we'll what we're gonna have to do. Mm -hmm. Tie another knot after. Yeah. So this cordage will actually serve a dual purpose. Okay. So we had to undo the knot here. To stick it through. To stick it through. All right. I think I'm gonna have to figure out another way to do this without holding it in place. I'm gonna have to cut, there. notch it there there to pull this piece out all right so we're gonna stick this through here see how it pulled through mm -hmm. now we're gonna tie no the knot. um stick a hole right there so we can thread it through and then tie it at the top <coughs> right here and then hold it like that well i was thinking that we could stick this through here mm -hmm. oh yeah like and then tie them together mm -hmm. right there. yeah yeah no we wouldn't have to even tie them together because this knot is gonna hold it on this end see that just like that, this one, we're gonna fold this over and find our perfect spot here. We probably wanna tie another knot right here. Now we have a knot on that side and on that side. So we got it through the hole there. You can see that. Just like that. That's it. Now we got to tie a knot on this end. Daddy! What? Guess what? Um, after we do that side with the cordage, we could tie another piece of cordage along the top so oh, we could hold it with one hand right there. So we idea. could have double hands on double one mm -hmm. of them. Like in a survival yes. situation, double. Double would be better. Double better. containers of sweet potatoes would be better than just one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Axel has some great survival ideas. Wait, oh, are there some my... places where wild potatoes Look grow? at that, Axel. Look at that. Okay, so all you have to do is finish this side and we will have a bowl. My goodness, look what we just made. This is incredible. It's also kind of like a boat. It is. It, look, it's like a boat, Axel. Look, it's like a boat. A holdable boat. Uh, yeah, I wonder if it would float in the water. Isn't that neat? That would hold a lot of sweet potatoes. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Agents, this is so incredible. I cannot believe we just made this out of using only a knife. 
and and, and some uh, western red cedar western red cedar was an essential um uh, building product uh, for the uh, indigenous people here and in the corded. pacific northwest and and they also made their giant canoes out of western red cedars western red cedar is a very light wood comparatively speaking to all the other wood the, the firs and the like um, the maple. <clears throat> hemlocks maple. and the and the big leaf maples they are all heavier woods but the, the vine maple the vine maple is a much lighter even wood. big enough i should know that uh, when it's wet it's actually uh, uh de still decently heavy but i should know that because i used to build fence with western red cedar when i built it with fir and spruce and pine it was always heavier wood Ow! oh pff, it's slippery right <laughs> it's like that's really, rocks. really slippery, look. yeah. It, look. But with, with Western Red Cedar, I, would, I could always carry a lot more wood on my shoulder because it's lighter. And another good thing about Western Red Cedar is it actually has natural stuff inside of it that resists rot and it resists uh, pests. Uh, like insects that like okay, to eat that it. could carry on worms for fishing. Yeah, this could carry so many things. This is incredible, but I wonder if it'll hold water. Let's go check it, it out. Can... So, agents, the next thing we need to do is to figure out if this will hold water. So, we are gonna go. There's a freshwater spring <gasps> right down here. I'm so thirsty. It comes right out of the ground, and we are gonna see if we can fill this up with spring water. You can drink fresh right from the spring, it comes right out of the ground. I'll pay you, you $20 remember? for that. Where'd you get that money? DB Cooper 20? Oh, that's a newer one. Pika wallet. That's your wallet. <laughs> Pika wallet. It's a Pika wallet. Do you remember uh, in the DB Cooper survival episode that you and me did at night when we were way up here in the woods? We found a freshwater Daddy, spring. You gotta listen for it though, okay? You have to keep your ears peeled for the spring. Okay, we are getting close to the fresh spring. You found see it? it? You see yeah, it? I see all that oh, water yeah. running down. Yep, there's running water. Oh, right there. Right there. Okay. See? Right there. Where? Right there. Oh, this is it. Oh, look at that, agents. It's hidden really well right here. You hear something? I what? think I hear it. Oh, I hear, I hear it's Agent Tracker. Well, let's see if she's busy. <laughs> Baby! All right, agents, look at this. Fresh water. All right, agents, there it is. You see that fresh water? It's coming from deep into the ground right there and coming out here. And so... That is safe for us to drink. But we have to figure out a way to get it into there. Uh, how but could you do that? Okay. we already know how to drink. We already know how to drink. Yeah, we can drink with our hands. Oh, it's freeze. Isn't that cold? Have a drink. That's completely ice. Good? It tastes like really sugary. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's so... Refreshing. Okay. Well, watch out behind you. Look behind you. Look right behind you. Oh, whoa, Devil's salmon Club. No, oh, look up. oh, that's salmon. Salmon. <laughs> it's, it's salmon berry. <laughs> Moment of truth, agents. This is the first one we've ever made. Will it hold water? Let's scoop it up. Scoop it up. Uh, no. It kind of holds water, mm -hmm. but look. It, it leaks out. The middle out. does. The middle holds it. But the but ends wait. are leaking. Look, see, it's coming in even when it's like that. Yeah. But it'll kind of hold it. So, hey, I, I think we did a pretty good job here. It'll hold sweet potatoes. Yeah. Well, I think. Hold it. I mean. It, it takes a while for it to go out, but I wonder if we could plug that with some kind of, a, like, clay or something. We've had some kind of clay. We could plug those ends. Oh, like, cut the inside. Oh, sap. Clay. Yeah, we could use sap. Um, like, we could boil sap and then pour it in. And yeah. Yeah, there's ways that we could that glue that. Mm -hmm. Chewing gum. <laughs> the indigenous people did not have chewing gum. Okay, so this won't hold water as it stands, but it can hold many oh, other things. So we are gonna use this as our meal basket, okay? All right, let's bring it back, okay? Let's go. All right, agents, come Lemon on, let's head cucumber. back. Lemon cucumber. Lemon cucumber. Yeah, oh, we could harvest food yes. from the garden and hold it in there. <gasps> yes! Well, um, we could give it to our friends and friends full of garden stuff. Okay, that's a great idea. All right, Axel really wants to give this to our friends. I think it's a great Daddy. idea. in there. This will be a garden harvest basket. Uh, 
Yeah. Number? That's a lot. I don't even know with this cordage hold while Axel's in there. I want to show you something really neat. So this is a squash that we grew in our garden, but it is also what, River? A top. It's a top. It's a toy. We grew toys in our garden. Really neat. I'm going to show you how that works. Ready? Look at that. So neat. I just love it. You can grow a toy top. Oh, in your garden. Whoa. Try again. Look at that. Whoa. Oh. What do you got? Oh, oh my. Do you ah. Ah. This is chasing a lemon cucumber. Okay, so I think we have to take some of this out. Like, take that one out. Maybe this one. All right, so Axel's got, what are these, lemon cucumbers? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Here. Okay, mm -hmm. so moment of truth, see if it can hold it. Ready? Pick it up. Yep. Oh my goodness, this little strand here can hold this entire basket. That oh, is incredible. It hold it without the strength of these. I am so Daddy, proud of this It wouldn't thing. hold it without the strength of these. It wouldn't, yeah. It's a necklace. Very tight necklace. Hey, you should, on three. you should give it to our friends like this. You should walk up to them like that. <laughs> it's super tight. It is super tight. <laughs> you have to make my head thing. sideways. Oh my, turn it sideways. Ah. Okay, agents. Well, we are so mm. thankful that we ah. had the opportunity to explore D.B. Cooper Clue and then find clues into the past of how the indigenous people of the Pacific Northwest would build things out of the materials that they had on the land here. So incredible. I can't wait to build more things using um, uh, materials that we find on this land. I'm so excited for that. All right, agents, well, remember, life is an adventure, and love is the key, and we love you. And we are so glad that you joined us on today's adventure. Remember, don't just watch our videos. You get out and have your own adventures. Just a simple little thing like this turned into an incredible adventure for us. And I'm so very thankful. Very, very thankful for this. And for any adults who are watching, remember you can get your official Adventure Agent badge for you and your family if you check a link in the description down below or visit our website, www.theadventureagents.com or just search Adventure Agents badge online and it should come right up. You can get your custom Adventure Agent badge or on the Coop K shirts, other Adventure Agents clothing and merchandise, go to our website and that's a way that you can get things that hopefully make it more likely that you get out and have an adventure. You can represent that you are an agent of adventure. But remember, you don't need Adventure Agent merch or an Adventure Agent badge to be an Adventure Agent. It's something that just comes from the heart, but it is a way that you can support us. All right, Agent Tech's out. Until next time. All right, Adventure Agent families. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that episode. And remember, you can get early access to all of our Adventure Agent videos and also watch every single one of our family-friendly videos on our new Adventure Agents app. Check the link in the description down below to see how you can get access to it. Our app is a safe and ad-free place that your family can consume all of our family's content.